I try to plant good seeds sometimes, but you know, sometimes my, my energy get the best of me. But Tasha K has been on the celebrity gossip scene for a while now, but recently she got into some serious trouble. She's now involved in a lawsuit with Kevin Hart, but who is she, where did she come from, and what did she do to make Kevin so upset? I'm gonna take the pictures for you as many angles as you want, but I can't it, to ensure he don't go up in these mother photos. Here's everything you need to know about Tasha K. Tasha's full name is Latasha Kebe. She was born on the 10th of March, 1982 in Panama City, Florida. And in 2006, she got married to Chicken E. Kebe. They have two children together, although we don't know their names. Somehow, Tasha has managed to keep her kids' names away from the media. And while it may look like Tasha just came out of nowhere with her Kevin controversy, that's pretty far from the truth. Tasha has been a popular YouTuber for a while now. Her YouTube channel, Unwind with Tasha K, has over a million subscribers and 250 million views. On her channel, Tasha posts all the juicy gossip about some of the hottest celebrities around. Tasha has also taken it a step further with her tell-alls revealing all the behind-the-scenes secrets from the entertainment industry. At this point, Tasha has grown to the point where she brings on guests to spill all the tea about the celebrities they know. And it's not just on YouTube. Tasha also has her own website where people can get a lot of exclusive content that's not on her YouTube. YouTube channel. So Tasha really is one of the biggest celebrity gossip personalities out there, but she's also a pretty controversial figure. Recently she got herself in trouble because of her line of work, and you're not going to believe how. Kevin Hart recently filed a lawsuit against Tasha. This happened after Tasha had a tell-all session with Maisha Shape. Maisha was Kevin's personal assistant for three years. She worked closely with Kevin from 2017 to 2020. So if anyone was going to have dirt on Kevin's private life during that period, it would be Maisha. In the interview, Maisha did not disappoint with what she had to say about Kevin, especially with all the things she claimed happened while she worked for him. But barely two weeks after the interview came out, Kevin filed a lawsuit against Tasha and Maisha. Kevin filed it with the Los Angeles Superior Court, and the lawsuit involved extortion and an invasion of privacy. According to Kevin, Tasha had reached out to him about the interview she had just recorded with Maisha and she asked him for a ransom to not release the interview for everyone to see. You're not going to believe how much she asked for. According to Kevin, Tasha asked him to pay her $250,000 if he didn't want her to upload the interview. Kevin wasn't going to pay for the video to be buried, but at the same time, he wasn't happy about it being released. According to Kevin, his team sent a cease and desist order to Tasha concerning uploading the interview with Maisha. Aisha, but it seems like Tasha didn't care because later that evening, she released the interview. And what Maisha had to say about Kevin was a lot. Of course, none of this is confirmed, but according to Maisha, Kevin had a gambling problem. He was apparently really into playing poker, and apparently it got so bad that he gambled away the money that he was supposed to use to pay his workers. I mean, if that's true, that's definitely a problem. But what's crazy is that this was just one of the claims Maisha made in the interview. She also said Kevin had been cheating on his wife, Aniko Hart, with one of his flight attendants. Now, how Maisha got this supposed information is anyone's guess, but I guess being a PA might have its perks. Then she took it a step further and sent a text to Aniko about what was going on with Kevin. It also looked like Maisha had receipts of the text she sent to Aniko because during the interview, she stood up to show Tasha a text. All of this was in the video that Tasha posted to her YouTube channel, but there was even more content in the full video on her website. At this point, you can see why Kevin wouldn't want a video like this out there, whether all the different claims are true or not. So he probably filed a lawsuit to get Tasha to take down the video. Meanwhile, Maisha violated her non-disclosure agreement, and that's why he's also going after her. What's really interesting about this whole drama is that this is not the first time Tasha is facing a lawsuit. Back in 2019, she found herself facing off Cardi B, and you're not going to believe what Tasha did to get herself in this position. Tasha's popularity really took off when she started putting out videos about Cardi. In the videos, Tasha would take shots at Cardi, and some of the things she said about her were wild. In one video, Tasha said that Cardi had an infectious disease 
And that wasn't even the craziest thing that she said about her. Tasha also claimed that Cardi had cheated on her husband. According to Tasha, she had an insider source giving her all the dirt that she was putting in her videos. Now Cardi has been quite open and honest about her time as an exotic dancer, but Tasha claimed that she was more than just your regular exotic dancer. She alleged that Cardi would do some really explicit stuff with a bottle while on stage. And apart from exotic dancing, Tasha also claimed that Cardi offered some other services, if you know what I mean. So after all this, Cardi hit Tasha with a defamation lawsuit, and she also claimed that Tasha's videos had caused her emotional distress. After the proceedings, the court ruled in Cardi's favor, which left Tasha with a huge bill to pay. She was supposed to pay almost $4 million to Cardi and take down the videos about her. But in May 2020, just months after the court ruled against her, Tasha filed for bankruptcy. According to Tasha, all she had was only a little over $50,000 to her name, but at the end of the day, she still had to pay Cardi about $3.5 million out of the original $4 million. Now Tasha finds herself in another lawsuit, this time with Kevin, and who knows what this will mean for her. What do you guys think? Do you think Tasha will win this lawsuit, or will she be filing for another bankruptcy sometime soon? Let me know what you think in the comments below.